state of Michigan, we traveled up the eastern coastline along Lake Huron, arriving in the village of Mackinac City, last stop before you cross the Mackinac Bridge going to the Upper Peninsula. This is the retired icebreaker used by the U.S. Coast Guard and the subject of Roger's next painting. Later we'll tour the inside and find out how it performed, breaking through the frozen waterways to create safe passage. I'll be using oil paints today on this 24 by 30 inch linen canvas. I've primed this uh, canvas with a few different muted colors. It was a very gray, windy day, so I don't want that sky to have a lot of color. So it's going to be very gray as well. All right, the only thing we haven't addressed right now is this pier, or what remains of it. So I'll mix a darker color, and I'll just very loosely Create a, since I'm working in oils, I'm going to put this aside for a while and let it dry. That way when I come back to it, some of these areas won't be quite so wet and I can go over them a little easier. It's not every day that you get to board a U.S. Coast Guard cutter, and this one is the Mackinac. It's very special, and we have an opportunity to talk with Bill Boyle, who served on this vessel a number of years ago. Nice and meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. And now he's a volunteer here, and all the questions you have about this amazing engine and the crew and even the food, he can answer. So I'll start off with the engine. They are 10-cylinder opposed piston Fairbanks Morris diesel, 2,000 horsepower. The same thing they use in trains, ships, and submarines. Oh, so it's tremendously powerful then. 2,000 horsepower each. And we have a very special propeller on the Mackinac in the very front of our ship. Because how we're breaking ice with the Mackinac is we're actually riding up on it and crushing it. Because we're shaped like a great big football. To slide up on that ice and we're using the weight of the boat to crush it. But that bow propeller, that's helping us break the ice easier by pulling the water out from underneath it. That's fascinating. I always thought passing out from right. losing so because much. Because these big locomotive engines put out a lot of heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been really exciting to me to be down here and to see this. Thanks for taking time to tell me about it. And we're going to look around at some of the other rooms and look outside a bit. And I hope okay. to see you again in fair weather. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All the best. Well, this painting has had time to dry overnight, so I'm going to begin by adding some more detail. And on the side of this ship here, the icebreaker, there's some lettering. It says Coast Guard. So I'm going to use my pastel pencil, and I'll sketch this lettering in here. U.S. Coast Guard. And these letters are very close together, so they'll hardly be readable. So I don't need to do too much. Some fences with a little uh, rope for a barrier, a few little signs describing what the ship is. So this is sort of a big area here. I'm going to break that up by putting in a few of those areas of detail. Again, I'll use my ruler, put in a few of these fence posts. Well, I think with those few patches of grass there, that's going to finish this painting of the Mackinac Icebreaker. Mm -hmm. 